moving on. So, there's been some really odd and kind of unverified reports regarding fentanyl laced Xanax in Berlin. Now, this is kind of scary because I've reported on it before about, you know, fentanyl laced cocaine in places like North America that have been ripping apart um, that hallowed flipping country, unfortunately. And um, I have to say this with a very straight face. If this is true and fentanyl has found its way to Europe, we're fucked. <laughs> we are fucked. Like if you thought it was bad in America, if fentanyl comes over to the to Europe and it's now laced in our pills, in our cocaine, in our weed, in our ketamine, we are fucked. We're gonna be dropping like flies. Honestly, we're gonna be dropping like flies. And this is very concerning. So I don't know who the person is. Let me see if I can refresh. Okay, let me get rid of that X there. It's from a person called Laura BCR. And it says important. Fentanyl has now shown up in Berlin. Please, please test anything you put in your body. I'm not only referring to party drugs. A good friend of mine lost their life because fentanyl is being cut into their unprescribed Xanax that they were taking for self-treat anxiety. That's probably the first mistake, isn't it, right? Like taking unprescribed Xanax to treat anxiety is probably a dicey roller. It's probably a very risky roll of the dice, but RIP to that person. This stuff is very lethal. It doesn't matter how much of it you intake. Each body responds differently. If you have any kind, if you have any kind of prescri unprescribed drugs, please check them with test strips. Now, the issue I've seen online is people saying the test strips, um, for testing stuff like fentanyl that you can buy on like Amazon and shit aren't good people are saying they're not they're not really um reliable but i've also heard people saying that there's a lot of unnecessary hysteria around fentanyl in europe allegedly these are all unverified reports which is odd because it kind of reminds me a little bit of what was happening in Bergheim. Like a, a few, I think it was like a few months ago, there was this weird thing happening where everybody was reporting being spiked and shit. And I couldn't figure out if this was actually real or if these were just people that just couldn't handle their drugs because there were some people that would write reports like, oh, I felt somebody prick me on my skin and I felt like a needle going and I was spiked and I fell over and whatever. But there was never any kind of solid, um, you know, evidence to show that people had been actually spiked or they'd been kind of pricked of a needle so i wonder if this fentanyl thing is in the same lane or if there actually is an issue now with fentanyl coming across to europe because if it is the case i'm sorry to say like people in you people in the party scene in europe should be worried especially people in the uk the people in the uk who ingest and who t snort everything should be worried because look what fentanyl is doing in america Look at this article, right? Courtesy of New York Post. This is fucking tragic. Kansas City Chiefs fans found dead had three times lethal amount of fentanyl plus cocaine. Um, the TSC reports, right? This is a fucking horrible, horrible, horrible article. Um, it continues. Courtesy of New York Post, right? Let me write it there. Let me just put it there. Bear with me a second so I get up on the screen and scroll down. It says initial toxicology reports on the three Kansas Chief City fans found frozen and dead in a friend's yard found cocaine, THC and three tons of fentanyl that is enough to kill according to reports. So these boys were gathered around, you know, having a good time in their friend's good yard and they I guess all died because they all had the same amount of cocaine or the same batch that they were taking maybe to celebrate their team winning or something whatever it may be um the families of David Harrington Clayton McGinney and Ricky Johnson were found dead outside their friends Jordan Willis's Kansas City home on January 9th um among the substances were cocaine and fentanyl fucking nuts bro three friends just hanging around, having a bid, what many people are doing across the United States, across the world, right? Watching whatever respective sport they're into, and then you get found dead like that. Like, that must be horrible. A family member who asked to remain anonymous tells me cocaine, fentanyl, and THC showed up in the preliminary results, said a, a, a correspondent on X. The family source says level 10 fentanyl is enough to kill. The Kansas City 3 were at level 30. 
level 30. He later added that the information was backed up by the confirmed um, by a second and separate family source. Kansas City Police are now confirmed that they have been in touch with the families according to the news station. There have been no additional details on this case revealed in the media, nor are there any plans to at the time. The case remains ongoing as a death investigation, a police spokesperson said on Thursday. And obviously it's a picture of one of the persons that passed away, David Harrington. Drug use has been speculated as a contributing factor to the men's death. Um, Willis, an HIV scientist, checked himself into rehab for substance abuse after his friends were found dead, his parents have said. Um, Tony Kagi, the attorney of McGinney's family, said that he was not responsible personally seen in the report, but it's just the first steps. Imagine being the, the one of the friends that didn't die. Imagine the, the survivor's remorse that you have or the survivor's guilt. Imagine. I don't think anyone familiar with the situation the investigation um, thought that this wasn't any something foul here at play. Um, the fentanyl was involved which is why I don't know at this point it's a Scrooge and it turns the recreational drugs into a lethal situation so this is already happening in the US right turning recreational drugs into a lethal situation can you imagine if this becomes a situation here in Europe and the reason why people are worried is because of obviously people finding fentanyl laced in fucking Xanaxes and then to make matters even worse look at this there's a post here people saying that allegedly they're finding fentanyl in free MMC, which is a drug that's been sweeping um, parts of Europe. Even up, It's not really that popular here in the UK. I think in the UK, people are still still pining for 2CB. But free MMC is, I think, a derivative of 4MMC, which is also known as MCAT. But from what I've been able to see online, I think it's now the MCAT without the cat piss smell um, that people have been doing as a recreational drug. It kind of has the similar effects of MDMA and cocaine a little bit. So people have been taking that when they go out and it's become like the new party drug, basically. It's kind of replaced ketamine, I think, in Berlin and shit. And people are now hypothesizing that allegedly they're finding fentanyl in fucking free MMC. So let's read a bit of the comments here. It says, hi, yeah, I'm a trained chemist. Um, there are many unreliable fentanyl kits out there. The ones on Amazon are especially bad. Um, someone says, yeah, can you please post results of where they're already? Um, so people are not debating on it about the results and shit. Um, let's see here there. Um, this post needs to be hijacked. I'm from the US. Take whatever you have you have, and make sure that it's all powder form in a bag. Take the ship, wrap it in the bag. Okay, cool. This is about testing. Let's remove that. Let's see what they're saying here about drug checking. Don't buy test strips from Amazon. If I remember correctly, they can give false positives. I know Don't Safe is a reliable source that tests strips. Really hope this doesn't become a problem out here. Um, just just so you know how much fentanyl they need to consume to be lethal please think of statistics when interpreting these test results the test results are not perfect there's a chance of false positives the prior probability of drug containing fentanyl in germany is very very low after positive test results its very probability needs to be updated it's a counterintuitive but i think the issue at hand is that from what i've been able to see online fentanyl just rarely addictive and it's super cheap to cut with your drugs so dealers are kind of incentivized to use it because the returns are big if you do it if you dose it or if you you know if you make it correctly um and you make sure the surfaces are clean it's not cross-contaminated and the dosages are right you can effectively get people hooked on the drug that you're selling and you can also increase its potency right so it's sort of kind of a double-sided kind of issue there. and of course it's super cheap as well um, so you can obviously buy loads of it and increase your profit margins and shit and obviously your quote unquote customer retention so as lethal and as horrible and as heinous and as disgusting as it is because people are literally dying off the back of this the incentives are there and you can kind of understand why people are doing it um, so this is a post about the Xanax fentanyl pills this person says here, as far as I know, there's been zero official lab test um, with fentanyl in Berlin. So, so far, it's just it's just unverified reports, like I said. And nevertheless, the panic is definitely spreading. And now this, can somebody help me make sense of how this could happen? I'm aware of how substances might get contaminated with fentanyl by intentional cross-contaminating happening at the supply chain. So by being treated in the same facility, da da da, da um, you would have to buy Xanax tabs outside the original package it. Until it comes from a one of the drug checking points i don't trust any of these stories fentanyl cut cocaine or xanax has been an issue in the u.s for years and it's well documented um we literally have test centers um in which we all are more reliable than strips i wonder why drug checking in berlin hasn't been reported yet yeah exactly 
Um, so far, there's no report official so far of it actually happening. But like I said, if it does reach parts of Europe, especially in the UK, forget Berlin. If it touches the UK, we are getting decimated. We're going to get torn to pieces. It's going to be like peak era of fucking pandemic when you know covid was fucking ripping through parts of europe you know at ease because people weren't washing their hands and shit like it's gonna be fucking crazy um by now this as alex sometimes comes in pills that are dealer pressed rather than sealed pressed um so the way that it works in the u.s is that they take xanax and crush them and then mix them with fent and then repress the pill and even stamp them with the original xanax markings yo that is evil that is fucking evil that is really evil to get xanax pills crush them mix it with fent repress them mark them with the official xanax markings and then reap and then put them back in fucking blister packs and make it look like they come from the fucking um pharmacy is awful and i'm sure they they probably sell fake boxes as well to make them look like they've, they've done the original thing Jesus Christ. Why do you uh, da, da, da. um why do you need unprescribed Xanax to treat anxiety? Anxiety is a real condition. Just get a prescription for it. Don't do a drug dealer. Um a person says many psychs are hesitant um to prescribe them, but they love to over prescribe antipsychotics and, uh, and SSRIs, exactly. Fucking hell. There are a group of drugs getting cut out in the street, benzo type pills in the UK called nitazines. They they include isotanazines, methotanazines, ephedrine, similar to fentanyl, as in they are synthetic opioids and very very strong and dangerous. I won't be surprised if they're in Germany. Yo, what are people taking outside, bro? I'm so out of the loop. I didn't know this was a thing. People are taking all this shit. God damn. Okay, so again, just as a heads up for people out there who are partying and stuff just be wary um be you know keep your head on a swivel so far there's unverified reports um panic is setting in people are getting very stressed about the issue um which is obviously not the greatest thing but um just be wary just be cool be aware of where you're buying your stuff from double check stuff if you can trust only you know people that you actually legitimately trust try and get them from verified sources or whatever it may be and kind of go from there or um to better yet maybe f think of quitting that also is an option maybe think of kind of dialing down some of the drug taking that you're doing in general just to make sure that you are here to see another day because it seems like it maybe isn't that worth it anymore because there's always a risk that you run of taking something and you never know that could be your last day like those you know young those fine young gentlemen right those kansas city chief fans um i don't think they ever thought of a scenario where they weren't going to be around to see their families you know, at one moment they're celebrating a victory for their team, having fun, having beers, having a good time, right? Doing some drugs at their friend's house, and the next minute some of them don't wake up and they don't get found until their bodies are frozen. Imagine how horrific that must have been for their families and shit. So yeah, man, like maybe it's just not worth it. Maybe that all that stuff isn't worth it. But um keep your head on the swivel, everybody out there in the party scene because it's looking spooky. It's looking really, really spooky.